this is a mini pro optic optic fiber test OTDR. Let's uh, check how to operate it. This is a seller uh, power adapter. Mm. Conductor. LC conductor. This is a belt. Mm. This is the track, white track. For take the adjustable white. Use manual. Warm hot. Pack this. Now let's introduce the OTDR. This is the OTR port and the LED source port. Uh, those are two the adjustable port. The first the port line one with the four cap track. The second the adjustable port line two with four adjustable cable length and sequence test. This is a USB port. USB port. This is a TF card. Now let's introduce the OTDR. Is the multi -fun uh, test functions. The OTDR tests the two mode function. One is auto OTDR, another is export OTDR. This is the event map test mode. This is the optical power meter VFL. We should forward look at light source optical light test. Mm -hmm. I did four five cable sequence and less test. This is a forty five digital track. This is the end phase inspector, the file management, the system system um, <coughs> setting. Now we, we check the first uh, test mode. The This is a uh, file patch called about the file mid. This is a uh, OTDR latch cable with one km is about one kilometer. In the auto OTDR, in the OTDR, we only need to set two parameters. One is the wavelength, setting time, and um, all fifty fifty um, wavelength. This is a tester time. Okay, let's click the auto test button. 
this is a tester curl this is a tester list the tester length is 1.05 km event map the first cell cell the tester this is a setting Auto OTDR mode is easily for reuse. Now we check the export test OTDR mode. OTDR mode. Test mode. In this mode, we can configure more parameters. We we also can set gear. We can set the wavelength. 15, 15, 15 nm or 13 nm. We also can set the test range. Generally, the test range is two times is two times of the real uh, fiber length. Now. Our, our fiber cap is one kilometer, so we select uh, two kilometer. This is the uh, pulse wilderness. Uh, the pulse wilderness uh, is bigger. If the bigger, the power uh, optical power is strong. Can catch uh, long distance. If the distance is not long, we don't need to select so strong. Hmm? So so strong <coughs> power or of power. Let's select the time. <coughs> time uh, uh, Every time, this is a test time. Test, test time. We can select uh, generally long time testing. The testing pre precision is high. Uh, in the real application, you also need to consider the uh, <coughs> real, real test rate. So we now select the 15 seconds. This is a refractive index. This is a unit we can ca select the K km, kilometer or K, uh, K, K foot. After that, we also can set the pass grid. Fill. We can set also set a risk parameter. And then analysis threshold. Generally, we, 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 we select the auto will be okay. Reflectance threshold. We also select the auto. And loss threshold, we also select the auto will be okay. Uh, now B, we click, uh, click the average test. Okay, this is a test curve. This is a test list. This is the first uh, five meter. 
is one point zero five kilometer. This is a test event. We can we can check the detailed test result for every event. The faster fast cell setting. The this is the event map test mode. We also do the setting um, similar as the, the export uh, OTT setting. Now let's click s test. Okay, this is a test result. The, the function is the uh, OPM, the optical power mid. Let's check it. The final patch code is from one fiber internet switch. Now we can find the optical power meter is negative time port five seven dBm. Okay. Now let's check the VFL function. We are console changes the frequency. This is one hertz, two hertz, and this is a plus. Let's check the LED source. You see the optical op power is zero, the port 57 dBm. We also can change the output value. We can it change it to zero, port 1. We also can by click the power plus the power is is adding also power okay we also can check the model with the different 270 hertz 330 hertz Now well, let's check the optical loss test. Now we can check the optical loss. Optical loss is one point four dB. Now let's check the RG45 cable sequence. Let's connect to the second, second LAN port, LAN 2. Now let's 
test the idea. This is a test result. Port 1 to port 1. Port 2 to port, port 3. Port 3 to port 0. From the test result, we can't know that the cable is a cross connection, <coughs> not a direct. The, the test lens. Okay, I think is it. Now, let's show another function. Is a track function. Okay, four five track. The cable is connected to the line one. Remember. Connect, connect to the wrong contact. Otherwise, maybe some degrees is it is crowded. Just, <coughs> just imagine, this is land one. This is four track. Start. The cable is connected to our device. This is the other cable. We can hear the sound. No, no sound. So, we can judge which one cable is we need. This is for interface <coughs> fiber management. We can we can manage the management. We can de delete we can delete it or rename it. For example, let's delete it. We can delete it or rename it. Name what we need. Next page. <coughs> This is a system setting. <coughs> this is out of we can select different time as what we need. This is a backlight brightness. We can select what we need. This is a beep. We can we can on or off it. The language uh, our OTDI support several language. The user can select what they need. This is Russia, Spanish, French, etc. The most user is English language. The USB port we can we can on or off it. The, we we also can set the time. Okay, this, this is all what we introduce for the Thank you.